Welcome back everyone after an extended spring break. We are going to be doing things a little bit differently for a little bit of time here. We don't know how long it's going to last. But until we get all this figured out, I'm going to show you what we're going to do as far as ag students. How we're going to document our time uh, that's required for ag class. And this is what you will be graded on too. So, pretty simple stuff. Nothing going to be hard. You should be used to everything. There's just a few things I want to make sure that you do, and you are going to be required to, to, to do one of these every day. Okay, so as I said, every one, well, you're going to have to have one of these every day, and you're going to use your SAE to document time for your ag class. So, the cool thing is this actually... Is, is, this is actually something that we have to do anyway. So once we come back to school, if everybody will do these right, then I will suspend the Friday journals every week and we'll let these go because you should get quite a bit of time on your activities through doing this. Okay, so T-H-E-A-E-T dot O-R-G. Look at it right there. The A-E-T dot org. That's where we want to go. That's one of the biggest things we run into, first off. Make sure you get theaet.org. Type that into your address bar and hit enter. Then go over here to log in. Okay, you're going to go to student login. Our chapter number is AR0049. Once again, chapter number AR0049. Username is going to be the capital. Uh, letter of your first name, capital first letter of your last name, and then all lowercase on the rest of your last name. So we're going to use the C old Cedarville Pirate account, so it's going to be capital C for Cedarville, capital P for Pirate, I-R-A-T-E, C Pirate. And then Pirates, whoops, can't put a space in there. Pirates all lowercase. We're going to click log in. And in we go. Now, if you do have trouble with logging in, send me an email. I'll reset your password. It's not a big deal. Um, some of you do have some letters. So if you need to know your username too, um, go ahead and, and let me know. If, uh, if you're unsure, most of the password resets are all pirates lowercase. Uh, pirates all lowercase, just like I had right there. And that's what will be your password so if you have any trouble logging in send me an email i'll send you the stuff you need to do it you guys have been doing this for a good while so you should know pretty much what's going on so i told you we're going to use project related activities and my expectation is you spend 45 minutes per per ad class that you have so if you in or into your in my class uh two times a day you'll you'll owe me about an hour and a half if you're in my class one time one time a day well you owe me 45 minutes so, what we want to do is go over here to Journal, nothing that we haven't done before, and then we're going to go to Review Journal Entries. Now, at this point, we want to make sure that we get, get to the right place. Now, I don't want class activity. I know this is a class activity, but I want it to be based on your project. So, you'll need to go to New Project Activity, and everybody has this. So it shouldn't be any issue. And I'll talk about how to do this if you don't have access to internet to where you can put this stuff in. It's It can be put in later. It's not a problem. So big thing. date. We need to put the date of when we're doing this. So if it's tomorrow, uh, if it's tomorrow's activity, then you need to put 3-30-2020. Okay. Um, and then you're going to select your, your project that you've been working on. Go to your skill area, just like we always do. This is an animal systems, because it's his farm. Um, he's looking at selecting animals and production methods. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the journal entry. And then, you're going to go down here. Now, this is a big one. I do want to, you, you need to document your time. Now, if you go over, it's okay to put six hours in here. If you spend all day on this, you know, it's, it's fine if you had to stay up all night with your cows or, uh, with your goat or something like that. It's, but remember, it only counts for one per day per class. So uh, 
make sure you put your time minimum 45 minutes what you need to be what you need to spend okay then we're going to talk about what we did uh we fed the dogs check the cows uh pet the goat um and planted a wildlife food plot yes that is a good activity if you're uh going out on the weekend or afternoon or something like that to plant a food plot there on your place uh it's pretty ag related if you ask me now here's the big thing that i want to make sure we do is i want to make sure we get a picture uploaded okay so we're going to go in here we're going to select a picture and i've just got a random picture here that's not called index um, and we're going to upload it so my expectation is you take that picture with your phone all right um, that way you've got not only written proof and, and time proof but you've also got a picture that shows you doing that activity so my recommendation if you've got four or five things here take four or five selfies while you're out doing that now very few of you are not going to have access to a camera if you don't have access to a camera let me know as soon as possible um, I, most of the time i expect you to just take them with your phone it's no big deal pretty easy to do um, but that's what i want you to do okay uh supervision this is unsupervised and then we're going to go click save I want to go in here and make sure, see if it went in. Hey, look right there. Experience related activity. See if I can edit it. Boy, it says everything I did. Now, oddly enough, the picture didn't show up. I need to see what's going on with that. But <clears throat> it uploaded, so I'd say it would still be there. Oops. Okay, I didn't change anything, so oh I if you think if you're worried about spelling, look at there. You can check spelling right over there. Pretty cool. Alright. So if you are unable to go through and add journal entries it's not a problem all this can be done at a later time the biggest thing you've got to do is you've got to keep records pencil and paper are not a problem because we can always put this in the computer now we are going to have other lessons on here um, that'll be there'll be lessons that are related to all of my classes be it survey of ag animal science ag mechanics welding intro to world ag any of that um those the the lessons on on the youtube channel will be those specific lessons right there so understand that that stuff is still to come we will have stuff on here but for you to document your time into where we can cover everything that the state expects us to have this is how i want us to document what we're doing outside of school now the nice thing about this is you shouldn't have to do anything that you're not already doing um, most of you are already taking care of your your projects every day um, and then some of you that, that have jobs uh, for example if, if you go to your job and you weld every day tell me about welding every day and take a picture of yourself doing it um, if you have to go to work and you've got to clean up in the in the shop or you've got to clean up the the store area take a picture of yourself doing that and we can count that towards this because that's actual career experience and that's what i'm expecting for you to be documenting is actual career experience since we are in career tech education all right so uh if you have any questions on any of that send me an email i'll help you get in if there's an issue with taking pictures and getting that kind of stuff uploaded let me know send me an email um, I get them pretty quick they're on my phone i see them the only time i'm not gonna be able to answer emails is from probably 11 to noon usually 
Uh, that's when we'll be out delivering meals. I would like to remind everybody that we are still going to be delivering food. Um, you should be able to pick those up at your bus stop, my understanding. So go meet your bus driver. Uh, I know it's it's school food, it's, it's sandwiches and stuff like that, but hey, it, uh, it's it's pretty good pretty good to have around. And when you're stuck there at the house, got somebody to bring you something a little different every now and again. So. Until next time, I will say goodbye, and let's get this stuff going. If you have any issues, don't forget to email me. Have a good one.